Alright, we are going to replace the RAM and the hard disk drive in a Gateway, let me get the model number, this is a Gateway 600YGR notebook. First thing we want to do is take out the battery. With the screen latch pointing ahead and the DVD drive, or the uh, PCI slot on the right, we're going to pull this thing below the sticker here, the colorful, colorful uh, Windows OEM sticker. Pull the thing to the right, that lifts the battery up. Make sure it's unplugged, make sure it's turned off. First thing we're going to do is replace the hard drive. It's right here. There is one screw, it's a Phillips head screw. We're going to need to remove that. Here's the hard drive. There's a little black tab there, pull that out and up. There's your old hard drive. Now, it's in something called a hard drive caddy. Very easy to take out. It's just a piece of metal that surrounds the hard drive so it can be screwed in. There's four screws, top right, top left, bottom right, bottom left. Very intuitive. Pull those four screws out and you will be replacing the these screws once you put your new hard drive in. Here's your old one. It's a IBM Travel Star. Uh, 30 gig doesn't work right, so here's a Samsung 40 gig, 5400 RPM. I'm going to make sure that fits right, yes it does, right in the uh, caddy there, and put your four screws back in. Now I'm not going to waste your time doing that, at least not all of it. So that is, maybe I'll get back into that in a second, we'll see. Uh, where that sticker is, there's another Phillips head screwdriver and this is where your RAM is located. You can just go ahead and pull that screw out and then that little trap door will lift open. Revealing two RAM DIMMs. DIMM is a place where memory goes. As you see there's two little tabs, metal tabs on each side of this stick of memory. RAM is, I'm pretty sure it is DDR DDR 333 megahertz. If you pull those tabs away from the memory, it springs up about 30 degrees. Pull it out, then pull it out. I'm upgrading this from a gig and a half to two gig, so one of these gets to stay in. And then I have my replacement memory module here. Push that into the same angle it came out. Push it down, two tabs will come over and click. Now that little trap door can be reinstalled. And there, and now I have two gig of RAM in this. And let's work on that hard drive caddy real quick here. Some of them are kind of touchy. But you do want to make sure you put it in the caddy or it'll rumble around in there and you might break it. Since modern day hard drives have moving parts in them, at least most of them. Uh, kind of hard drive you, you would want to buy would be a IDE or an EIDE. E is just enhanced, it's slightly better. And I do mean slightly because I can't really notice the difference. Um, and it'll support up to, I believe, 100 gig. Uh, however, that's just what Gateway says. It'll probably support more than that. Don't hold me to it. Um, for example, they said my Lenovo PC will support 3 gig of RAM. I've got 4 in it and it's going just fine. And then my Dell Dimension says 8 gig. I have 32 in it and it's just fine. It's for gaming. There's your hard drive caddy. You're going to want to make sure all of those pins line up just like it came out. That way. Push it in. Make sure it's flush. And then that cover can be screwed down as well. If I use the right screwdriver. All of these are Phillips on the back. And then your battery can be reinstalled. And if you'd like to check in the BIOS, BIOS, Basic Input Output System, the computer will tell you your memory and sometimes your hard drive. On this gateway, which is very old as you can tell, um, you're going to want to hit F2 when it says gateway at the beginning. And I don't think that worked, so let's try it again.
I believe it's F2. Yep. There we go. 2047 meg. Essentially 2 gig. And IDE adapter, which is the hard drive, is 40,000. Yeah, 40,000 meg, which is 40 gig. So, there you go. Now you can reinstall or give it a fresh install of your operating system. And that's how to change the hard drive and memory in a gateway, older gateway laptop. Thanks for watching.